Well, here we are in Southern California observing an oleander, and this is happening all over the city. We have a wilt disease, a fungal disease that's affecting nearly every plant. We see occasionally here and there one that looks okay and is doing well, but most of them are doing this. The whole top of the plant is dying back. You can see where the stems are turning black, the leaves wilt and discolor, and the plant simply goes into decline, fades, and then completely dies all the way to the root crown. This is a serious infestation. It's affecting a lot of plant material in this part of the country. Here we find the typical process of decline. You can see where the leaf has wilted back and was temporarily halted at this position and then wilted again and then we see the last of the living leaf right here. So in stages, in phases, this disease apparently wilts the leaf back to the main stem and then the main stem itself also dies. The specimens that are affected most are the ones that have been topped and headed down and sheared. They are weakened and more vulnerable. Perhaps those end grain cuts allow the decay organism, the decline organism to establish itself and weaken the plant further. Ones that are in natural form with natural leading meristem tips seem to be a little bit more resistant. But any of them that have been topped, hedged, or sheared go into decline almost immediately. We're seeing this all over the city. Thousands upon thousands of plants are being affected. You will occasionally see a few live shoots occurring in the canopy that give us a sense of hopefulness that maybe they can be recovered. But again, nothing seems to be stopping it. So even healthy plants now are being affected. So we could see just the tip of the iceberg of this plant really losing its position in the Southern California landscape. Anybody that has any ideas or recommendations for a restoration of oleander affected by this disease, weigh in on it. Let's hear if others are having any results or success in treatment. Share your comments in the response section below.